My God, I thought I scheduled this to three o'clock. Um, I'm late. My God, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, I was pretty sure I had like 20, oh, 24 minutes before starting. And I see the chat is completely full. Wow. Sorry, guys. I must have a scheduled wrong or uh, wrong memory. So let's begin. Wow. Now we have something, some catch up to do. Oh my God. I wasn't prepared of that, being late in my own life. Sorry for that, guys. So today we're going to do black in number eight, uh, equal, similar to Popham, uh, but still not. Hook is a trio equal to size B in the Blackie book. So this is a smaller hook today. Let me just zoom in here. There we are. Sorry, guys. <clears throat> and I was preparing slowly, making coffee, yeah, all that kind of things. I've been right here for like two hours just sorting feathers and preparing. So, yeah, my God. <laughs> Lucky there is a chat. So, let me just read the Gould Twist. So, I have a nice extra small gold pencil here that we're going to attach. I go with clear wax actually. So I'm going to have a look and see which time I schedule for tomorrow as well. <laughs> but tomorrow we're going to do Traherne. If I can find a pattern that I don't have tied already and also that I have material for. <clears throat> so there we go. A few tight wraps then with the tinsel. <laughs> yeah, Daryl, I'm sorry. That, that's the case. <laughs> yeah, strange. I was so sure I scheduled it for like three o'clock, but uh, obviously not. And nobody pinged me on Messenger. So, tight wraps there. Ah, you did, but hmm, strange. I have no notification, no nothing. Just have to look. Messenger. Yeah, you did. But I, uh, yeah, I had no sound on. Sorry for that. <clears throat> Hopeless. So, there we are. But that's interesting because I was in front of the computer and the computer didn't give me a notification. Yeah. <laughs> so, go twist. Aha, uh -huh. okay, okay, okay. So I was a bit quick. So let's just continue with the gold twist. I thought that would be like silk or something, but no. 
it's just a huge lot of gold twist. <clears throat> Let's see if I can just continue. Ah, that's lazy. Let's do it from the beginning. Yeah, I'm hopeless, guys. Sorry. Hope you forgive me. Now we can start again. I do really tight ones. Want it to look nice. Yeah, it's really funny. I, I can I can laugh at myself. So I, I was the the last one in in the in the live. <laughs> ah, fantastic. So who was the first one in today then? Since I missed that one. Nice, David. So I'm going to stop there since the peacock hurl going to Take quite a lot of room. Yeah, it's tight, looking good. Oh, you should, Daryl. You have to. So, I'm going to go with the black wax. And time for the tail. I prepared one actually. There we go. And in blackish style, we did go for a long tail. Oops. Yeah, might be even better. <clears throat> so I'm going to close this browser. And I'm so happy I got my book. As you guys might see, uh, 
it's, it's a great book. I don't know why I, why I didn't buy it before. Because I bought the, the original Blacker, but that one is, yeah, interesting to read because, uh, yeah, there's not much in it. There we go. So, I'm just going to uh, go and get Peacock Herbs. Let's take this one. There we go. And I'm going to go with the green one. I also have uh, bronze or, or yeah, different color. But I think it should be this one. <clears throat> and of course, in, in the long run, it will... Uh, Fade to copper. There we go. So let's see. I'm gonna take it the other way. No. That's the way. I'm gonna try to make it tight oops, tight wraps. Okay, so it's a bit dry, very dry. So I need to be a bit more careful uh, tying it in. Let's try another one. Gonna put the less pressure on. No, it's way too dry. Come on. I'm going to change. Just going to rewind a bit here as well. I need to find another peacock. That one isn't usable. Oh, then I can show you the difference as well. That's fun. So, let me get this one's out. So, all of you guys know the normal peacock. And then I got this one. So I think I'm gonna use this one, to be honest. <clears throat> will give it a bit more older look. Let 
There we go. <clears throat> so just cutting this one off and then we can start to work with the body. Yeah, I think so. Because see, they, they look much nicer. <clears throat> There we go. Pico curl. So let's start with the tinsel and the silk. And of course, I, I don't have any uh, cock of the rock crest. Uh, so I come up with, uh, yeah, something in the same color at least. But, uh, yeah, I don't have the original, of course. That would be like a 3,000, 4,000 euro bird. We're gonna have yellows. I go with the light, <clears throat> the light wax. Yeah, class, classic salmon flies, you know, I, I can just, you know, when I open my cab cabinet or my, my, my wallet, oh, I have an old Marloch uh, box, uh, really nice, uh, of course, it, it has some platina, and the funny thing, when you open it, of course, it flies by me a long time ago, but... I love this. Oh, there we are. I have a compartment in the middle so I can actually add even more flies. All original uh, box. Lovely stuff. So together with flies and you know uh, fly boxes, fly wallets, cabinets. That that's just porn in itself. Sorry about the, that, but for, yeah, I'm a, I'm a crazy guy. I love flies and gadgets. I think I'm gonna move it a bit that way. Oh yeah, please. Let's have a let's have a call afterwards. I'm down here in my crib, so it's perfect. Oh, did I remove that one again? Okay. Uh, you don't need it anyhow. So let me see. Yellow, blue. That will be sufficient. So yes, tying in the silk properly. This one might work in the summer. See if the Baltic salmon or Atlantic salmons like it, which of course they do, but yeah. So, tight wraps backwards. I 
good thing when I'm back now in the IT uh, business is that my fingers are like baby fingers. So I don't need to have the gloves when managing the silk anymore. The Japanese silk, I still need to have gloves on, but that's very delicate. So let's secure this one. <clears throat> and then we're going to have three turns of gold tin cell. <laughs> Same here. So, yes, cutting the tinsel off there. Just to work up a bit of a uh, some little bit of volume, not too much. There we go. So now let's try, try those feathers I found. I'm going to use the one that did break first, I think. It's small, fluffy stuff. Ah. That's not really doable. So I need to find another one there. But let's take this one. It's a bit bigger. Might need more than one. Yeah, let me just add one underneath first. I just wet them. Then it's okay. Then we're going to have another one of Pico Curl. There we go. Uh, 
Uh -huh. Want them to be really tight. <clears throat> then we have some more gold tinsel to tie in and then we have a section of blue silk. <clears throat> Just adding back to the thread. And there we go. There we go. And it's not in the way. So you're yeah, securing the blue silk, tying it in a bit. <clears throat> Just I'm unwinding it. And same as always, tight wrap backwards, and then forward again. And here I need to keep an eye on the on this thickness. So I want to build up the body a bit with the silk. So it's not too thin. There we go. And then just secure the silk, tying it in. <clears throat> just cut the leftovers here. There we go. <laughs> yeah, we, we have to stop Dave. Maybe we should put him on uh, like a chat mute or something. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I haven't seen him. He's not here.
Uh, tomorrow going to be a Trahorn again. Uh, if I can find a pattern that I I, I want to do, else I go with like a, a another ghost fly or something. But but yeah, it would be nice to to finish off the Trahorns. But I think it's just parrot flies uh, left and. Uh, yeah, I kind of suck managing parrot, but uh, still I need the practice, so who knows? Why not? Nobody remembers a covered. Yeah, we need to put him in the shame corner. Oh, that's those feathers are really fragile. Oh, the stem of it, it's like air. Gonna look better when dry. But uh, yeah, crazy feather. Might not be been the best option I selected, but yeah, let's live with it. Yeah, correct. And uh, th that's the case, David. Uh, yeah, Monty, you should. You should really uh, get them a try. But but look look for look for a pattern with not that many components in it, and then you you can tie it. Uh, so so choose choose a, a pattern with the, not that hard material in it. Yeah, looking at, you know, look at Hardy, they, they used the substitute as well. And in cases feathers wasn't in the right length or something, they just cut it. I have plenty of Hardy flies. And when you see the tail was too long or something, somebody just cut it in the back and in the top and now it's good. Yeah, so, so that was how they did it back in the days. Uh, you know, it, it was fishing flies, right? So it wasn't that important. So there we go. Now it's time for the last section. It's going to be a bit longer. First, we just need to have the last 
part of the gold tinsel attached. There we go. That's going to be orange. Yeah, I got plenty of material, so I, I can always support, you know, toppings and tippet and those kind of things. Let's help each other out, no problem at all. Then you can get the starter to tie like a few patterns at least. I do the front always a bit longer since uh, quite a lot gonna be covered by the front tackle anyhow. So you, you just, you just want to see the section else it's just gonna disappear. <clears throat> So I'm just going to use the opportunity to brush out this feather a bit. Looks a bit similar. So since I just broke one, uh, so what I'm going to do, no, no sheeting. So I'm going to fix another one of these. I thought I'd leave it out first, but yeah, no. Let's do it the proper way. So I'm going to need to brush that one as well. So let me go and get one of my nice goodie bags, as I call them. I think it's this one I got them in. Yeah, I completely agree, David. 
I was thinking of that as well, and I said, no, it's not worth it. <laughs> Twisted. So let me see. This might be uh, the real stuff, actually. Uh, not sure, but uh, they they look really nice. But it's not the the feathers on the head. So it's really, you know, the fluffy one. I'm gonna look better in a while. Just gonna soak them and then brush it out. Same as I did with the other ones. So now we're actually talking from tackle. And of course, I prepared a nice yay. That was. Uh, well, that's why I was, uh, you know, uh, keen on getting the right hook size as well. Uh, yeah, Rosedorn is a nice pattern. So now we can go with the black wax. Yeah, okay. So let's cut these feathers off first. Let's clean the front. There we go.
Oops. Always. See us redo everything. I think uh, size wise it looks good. So I'm gonna tie it in here uh, since after the stem is starting to become. Oh, let's do another one. That's it. The stem is growing because I didn't split the stem. But I think I didn't need to. Uh, looks quite okay. Yeah, it's not bad at all. But I, ne I need to show you something. Uh, sorry for the disturbance in the, in the tying, but I think you guys are going to like this one. It's in one of my goodie bags as well. Uh, goodie boxes. So let's see if I very quickly can find what I'm looking for. Oh, yeah. Here it is. Look at that, mate. It's like my hand. So I would be able to tie yeah, at least on a 5 or 6 o. But then you need to split the stem and so on. Not sure which bird it is from, but it, it's similar to Jay. Yeah? Very, very similar. It might be a different jay bird somewhere. Because I think yeah, the one we, we tie on is a European jay. So they might be Asian or something somewhere. Huge one. So, now we're gonna have fun. Are we gonna start with the wing? So, black wax. Yeah, and I had to do a lot of digging uh, for feathers. Yeah. <laughs> It was a bit funny because uh, I really thought I didn't have, because I have this one, I'm going to show you guys. Of course I have a silver pheasant, but there is no tail. So I want, my God, I don't have a tail. And then in the bottom of my, yeah, one of my boxes, big boxes, I did find it, so uh, yeah, we can work. So yellow, blue, no, let me see, orange, yellow, blue. So I'm going to use Macau for blue, and for orange and yellow, I will go with my regular fenders. So let me just pick them out. An orange. There we go. These ones here. So it's going to have three fibers yellow. Yeah, it could be that one, yeah. One, two, three. So three fibers from each side. On the color, colored section, so to say.
So I'm just picking out strips for the first section. It's going to figure out which which one to use. So reading the pad and busted golden pheasant tail. Okay. So I want to have a lot of golden pheasant tail. So I might tie that one in together. And yes, to make like a bundle in my hand. Uh, and today I'm gonna actually brush it a bit before I tie it in, just to blend it up a bit. So together with that one, I'm gonna go with golden pheasant tail. Quite a big chunk, actually. <clears throat> One for each side. There we go. And then, oh, I forgot to get the tippet. So I put everything in a bundle. Like that. And I'm just gonna go get tip it. So we're gonna have tip it in strands. So I just put one on each side and then just tie it in. This one is long and beautiful. So let's take that one. Come on. So that's better.
Så. Ja. Först bundle to be tied in. A few strands were a bit short. That's no problem. Now we have quite a lot of color in the wing. So we're gonna blend that out. <clears throat> then we have, let me see, Blue Macau. Then I think I go with Bustad on that one. Uh, the feathers I'm using, uh, David, is a crane. There's no stress mark, and they, they are so much better than turkey. Uh, turkey is crap. I don't spend money on turkey at all. But it's quite a big process. Uh, but but you you are a master of coloring, so so for you it's not a problem. Uh, let let's uh, take that in our uh, call after. Yeah, I'm gonna sort you out, see no way to get them. Can show you the original ones. At least, yeah. This one I haven't colored. So it's massive feathers. It's like, yeah, almost my underarm. And this is the normal color. Eh? So you need to bleach them and then color color them. So you need to be very, very careful not to burn, <coughs> burn everything. So let's see what we're going to use today then. use this one in the lower section. Good thing with the mixed, the mixed one is that the feathers don't need to be superb. You can actually tie in, you know, even if the fibers are broken, uh, it doesn't matter because when you just mix stuff around, you wouldn't notice anyhow. So it's a nice way of utilizing parts that you can't do for married wings. And then same. Uh, so I take one side of uh, Cory, then I take the blue Macau, put it on the inside, then I do the same on the other side, Macau on Macau. And then 
Corey again. So I thought, let me see. They're rambling around here. Ah. Ah, didn't really work that well, but there, yeah, you know. So I'm just gonna brush it a bit, blend it, Since we're going to have a hurl head, I use the material I tied in. I don't cut everything off. So I just can clean before I add the other layer because we need to have the silver pheasant. Just going to have a look. Did that. Silver pheasant. Okay, so I'm gonna do silver pheasant and golden pheasant to add a, a bit more brown into the wing. There we go. So it's cleaning up a bit. gonna take I'm gonna go with three strands of uh, the white silver pheasant It's an interesting pattern, no, no mallard, no nothing, yeah? Cool. Then we go this one. <clears throat> so just cutting out the last sections here. There we are. So just gonna put them up on each other. So silver. Mm 
There we go. Just give them a little brush, a biggie. And just tie it in. Yeah, ghost shoulder are okay. Uh, Swan. Now we're starting to get pretty decent looking wing. Just want to blend the yellow and orange a bit more. Not really pleased with where they landed so far. Almost everything on my side, yeah? Hello, oh, on your side. Might be better to blend with a dubbing needle. Well, there we are. Maybe this one. Yeah, that one worked well. Yeah, they, they sure do. Turkey is not the, the nicest material to tie fishing flies with. Uh, so Swan or Goose, much, much nicer. Uh, completely agree there. So I'm just going to cut the left over there, having a look at the pattern, we're going to have blue and yellow macaw and a peacock curl head. So big steps forward. Just getting rid of this one. <coughs> And of course, if you don't have silver pheasant tail, you know, Amherst, a few strands, why not? You, you wouldn't really see the difference anyhow. Oh, oh yes, there. So, so you were writing the question as at the same time I was uh, <laughs> saying it. Yeah, say, same with the, you know, if you color um, Amherst pheasant, uh, you know, uh, the same color as a, a golden pheasant, then you have a longer reach on the feathers and for instance if you do a mixed wing pattern you wouldn't really notice so topping that was the one Let me see if I can straighten this one out a bit. Uh, 
Else we just find another one. But I think that's sufficient because uh, we don't need a big topping. Yeah, turkey is okay. But nowadays it's quite hard to find good quality and they charge you for it. You're just insane. So I'm more, you know, I don't, I don't want to feed uh, super greedy people. Now this topping is maybe not the right one. I want to have a straight, straighter one. This one has too much curve on it. I'm going to make a tail of it. Um, saving that one for later. Let me have a look what we got. Um, well, this one has really straight feathers, yeah? I like that. We don't need that long. So let me see. I think that one is a bit short and ugly. And that one. Now let's see what we can do with it. Yeah. Now these ones are not prepared yet. So let me look in my normal box. We must be able to find something more fun. Oh, you got the lag. Okay. So let's see what we got. Just take them out. It's easier to look then. A lot of ones are curved. So I need to rewash quite a lot of them. And these ones are humongous, yeah. We're just gonna have something that covers the wing. Maybe a bit more. Nah. The hunt for the topping, yeah. Let's see if we sort this one out. Can it be nice? I would say that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. 
So that's fun how, how you with the, your dubbing needle can sort out the topping that looks crap and then it just becomes the one you really need. So I hope you guys starting to use your dubbing needle a lot. It helps out. There we go. <clears throat> so let's try to tie this one in then. And then we're going to do the horn. So you just need to have a, like a decent length. Yeah, I think it's cock of the rock feathers, uh, Manfred. It's not labeled, but I, I think it is. I don't need that super long horns. Yeah, let's go for these ones then. I go for long. There we go. Some more vex to the people. Vexing the thread. Maybe a little bit long, so I'm just going to pull a bit. There we are, equal length. And just tie it in. Let's cut that fiber. It's 
springs. Not sure what springs are, Manfred. So I'm just coloring the, the, the colored feathers here in the top. And then time for the ostrich herd. So I'm going to cut off a section below because I want it to you know, be, be long as long as possible. I'm going to do the same as I always do, tie it in backwards and then moisture it a bit. And uh, push it backwards. So just wet, wet a bit, push it backwards, and then when it's uh, dried, I'm just going to brush it. There we go. Quite nice. Lovely, lovely version of, uh, yeah, it would be maybe wrong to call it a pop ham, but uh, yeah, blacker number eight. So let me just change the camera. Hello guys, there you are. So, not that bad. Now it's out of focus. But I got it uh, still in a bit uh, blacker shape. So I'm gonna let that one dry, then brush and the head out and uh, take a picture of it and change uh, uh, the, the image on the, on the live uh, video that will be automatically uploaded. That, that's a good thing when doing live, then you don't need to uh, do all the editing and stuff. But when I do a regular video, you know, first you need to do the video tie, then you need to um, edit it and add stuff and upload it to YouTube. It takes maybe additional three hours more of work when you actually could prepare for the next pattern. So that, that's why I love uh, the lives better, less work, uh, better contact with you guys uh, tying. You know, we can interact uh, 
in in real time it's uh, fantastic so that that's basically it for today so i'm gonna look into my books and see what trahern pattern i'm gonna tie tomorrow and i'm gonna promise you guys i'm not gonna be late for my own live tomorrow sorry for that um uh, i i'm I, i'm ashamed i was so sure it was the three o'clock my time but yeah uh, it wasn't so thanks a lot for watching guys and uh, See you in the next video. Have a nice weekend. Bye.